Many local high school football teams kick off their seasons tonight. And for one team, tonight's game holds special meaning in the fight against a deadly disease. K2's Craig Bergbeck's following this story, and you're here. Craig, the Glanstow Gladiators are on a mission to battle what most of us really know as Lou Gehrig's disease, right? Yeah, and now this mission is personal to them because this week, these young, strong football players from Gladstone saw firsthand what real strength is when they went for a visit with Mike Lopez Jr. Now, the former All Pac 10 defensive back is fighting ALS with everything he's got, and now he's got the whole Gladiators football team on his side. Mike Lopez Jr.'s life is now mostly spent in this bed in his home in Beaverton. As for the last 14 years, Mike has been living with ALS, also known as Lou Gehrig's disease. But in his younger days, Mike was a standout football player at Aloha High School and Oregon State, which makes him a whole lot like Drew Walters, Brian Pope, and Joe Baker, three Gladstone football players that came to visit Lopez this week. Hey Mike, I'm Drew. It was a little different. I didn't really know what to expect because I didn't know what ALS was and really know what to expect. But it was really interesting, and I'm, I'm glad I had the chance to go do this. The Gladiators were there to drop off some gifts and also to tell Mike how excited they were to be giving some of the proceeds from this Friday's game against Yamhill Carlton to his Team Cure ALS Foundation. My dad uh, played football at Benson when he was just a little kid. He played for his dad, so uh, I know my dad was excited about that and letting me go see him and meet him. But, yeah, it uh, let us know how to... Uh, how important the game on Friday will be. Trips outside the house are difficult for Mike, but he does say he plans on being there when Gladstone takes on Yamhill Carlton. You could tell from the smile and from the words that his caretaker Bobby interpreted that Mike enjoyed the visit. But clearly it was the young football players that walked away with an appreciation for life and the game that they and Mike loved so much. It was pretty powerful how what ALS can do to you, especially no matter who you are. I mean, he was all Pac-10 defensive back, and uh, ALS really brought him down, but he's making the most of it. Now, the game at Gladstone starts tonight at 7, but if you can't get out there, you can still help Mike's foundation. Just go to katu.com and click on Inside K2. There you'll find the link for Team Cure. ALS, and uh, that's the third time I was able to meet Mike, and uh, he does still have a great sense of humor, tells jokes, and, and laughs at mine sometimes. Oh, he helps you put mm. life in perspective, though. Yeah. It really does, watching them. But great support from yeah. those players. And those players did, I mean, that was not an easy situation for them, and they walked out of there. I think they learned a lot. Did. Craig, thank you, sir.